Hello and welcome back to Sunday School. If you have a candle at home that you're going to light with me, I invite you to go get that now, or to get it ready now. We are in the fifth week of Lent, which means in my church that we light five of the six Lent candles today, which is kind of a big deal. That means there's only one more week of Lent, and it's Palm Sunday. You remember for the last um, for the last week and this week and next week we are looking at Palm Sunday. We're looking at when Jesus rode in to Jerusalem on the back of a colt, and we're looking at how he was proclaimed a king at that time. And it's the last Sunday before Easter Sunday. So if you have your candle ready, I invite you to light your candle along with me. I'm going to light the Christ candle first. And then I'll light my Lenten candles. Remember, we're lighting five because we're in week five of Lent. Candles are great. And there we have it. All of our candles lit. If you're ready, I invite you to pray with me as we go into our Sunday School lesson today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for our Sunday School lesson. We pray that you would bless my parents, my family, my teachers, coaches, and friends. Be with us now in our Sunday School. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great Sunday School lesson, and we'll see you again real soon. We're going to be looking at the story of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Now, Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem is a really special story because it can be found in all four of the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Today, we're going to look at the story from Luke, chapter 19, verses 28 to 40. And Mark, chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. So we're still creating our story from things that we have around the house. So today, we're going to need lots of green things to be the palm leaves. So, better go see what green things we've got in the house. Even though they're hard to come by, everybody should have one or two of these available. Great! Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead of him into a local village and told them to find a young donkey which no one had ever ridden. But what if someone stops us? said the disciples. Just tell them the Lord needs it. Jesus replied. So, off they went. Sure enough, when the disciples reached the village, they found a man with a young... rabbit? That's supposed to be a donkey. A young donkey. One of the disciples headed over to the donkey and started to untie it. Hey, what do you think you're doing? said the man. The Lord needs it, replied the disciples. And sure enough, the man let the disciples take the donkey to Jesus. <laughs> this next bit is the reason the story is called the triumphal entry. Not because of them getting a donkey. Jesus then rode the donkey into Jerusalem and everyone was full of joy. As we don't have palm leaves, that's where all the green things come in. They were laying down palm leaves, laying down coats. They were all singing and shouting, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Now, some of the Pharisees weren't very happy about this. Jesus, tell your disciples off for making so much noise. But Jesus replied, I tell you, if they kept quiet, even the stones would cry out. 
When Jesus was entering Jerusalem, everybody was filled with joy. They were so happy. They were laying down coats, laying down palm leaves, singing and shouting. They were full of joy. In Philippians 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. It's so important they said it twice. It's so nice they said it twice. Whatever situation we find ourselves in, we can always find joy in the Lord. Why don't you try retelling the Palm Sunday story creatively? Maybe that's with toilet rolls, maybe it's with teddies, or you could try using some of your family members. <laughs>